Days after the deadly crash of a vintage plane in Connecticut, history buffs gathered on the Cape for another display of World War II aircraft. The plane that crashed in Connecticut was based in Massachusetts, and Wednesday's accident was on the minds of many today. Jim Smith reports from Barnstable. This B-17 bomber comes here to Cape Cod during a difficult time for the aviation community. But many people believe the plane they call the Flying Fortress still has an important story to tell. So this thing can rotate all the way up. Somebody will get in and then it'll rotate them back down. An up-close look at aviation history. A B-17 bomber on display at Barnstable Airport. The World War II aircraft's visit made all the more meaningful after this week's tragic crash in Connecticut, which involved a B-17. I feel really bad about that. And I mean, you're going up for the flight, which is really special for a lot of people. And to have something tragic happen, you never know what's going to happen. When you get inside the plane, it's a trip back in time. The cockpit, the guns, the bombs. Planned flights on Saturday were canceled out of respect for the Connecticut victims. But the crew did go on with public tours. It's been a, a difficult time, no doubt, this week because of the tragedy. We've all been affected by it. Uh, but uh, I, I feel like our mission is, is still the same and still important. I don't think that's changed our mission at all. Uh, but, the, but the tragedy has weighed heavy on everybody, yes. Don Caldwell works at the Barnstable Airport Tower. He took some photos of the bomber as it flew into Hyannis, and he says the recent crash weighs heavy on his mind. To think that, uh, you know, the uh, uh, part of uh, history, uh, you know, uh, encounters such a tragic issue, um, no, it's, it just made, it just actually broke my heart and really made me want to come out and see it even more. It was a day to pause and reflect, but also a time to pass on the history of an aircraft that helped win the war. Even younger visitors get the message. And I was like, really like, wow, like, is this actually really true? Oh, I, I, the, my first time seeing this B-17 in real life. As the Connecticut victims are memorialized, those who know and love these planes also remember the veterans who served bravely in the skies on board bombers like this one. On Cape Cod, Jim Smith, CBSN, Boston.